This is William Steele with Where's My Media, and today I'm going to show you this automated NDI based facial tracking, audio trigger switching, PTZ automated production setup, which is really, really cool. So we've got a, uh, a laptop here with the NVIDIA Quadro uh, P20 or 3200, and we've got two things running on it. We've got vMix running on it, and we've got OBS. vMix is going to do all of the audio switching and OBS is going and the camera switching and OBS is just going to be doing face tracking with our two cameras. We've got a Aver TR311 H or sorry 330HN which is an auto tracking PTZ camera but we're actually now not using the auto tracking function and we've also got a huddle cam HD right below the TV right there. So and that they both support NDI and they are both um, they are both PoE powered. So now we've also got some Apple TVs, so I can mirror my screens. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna choose my second screen to mirror the one that is running vMix. And so now I've got vMix up over here and I'm gonna to go to my other screen and I am going to mirror my main monitor, which has OBS on it and that's input one. So there you go, now I've got both my screens, mirroring my screens on the laptop and let's set our presentation display, which is for the presenter to be able to see what he's doing. And let's put this one for the moment. Let's switch that also to the OBS uh, display. So you can see the facial tracking that we're using with the HuddleCam HD NDI camera. So now this supports something called EPTZ, and that EPTZ is basically electronic PTZ. It's just re uh, framing or following using PTZ controls within the 4K frame and outputting a 1080p signal. So now if I move around, you'll see it's face tracking me and that's actually OBS doing that. That is not the PTZ camera. Whoops, let me go back there. And um, so what that means is that as I move around, uh, OBS with this plugin, this face tracking plugin, is sending PTZ controls or commands to the camera to continue to follow me because the camera does not natively support it. What the camera does, now if I turn around, you'll notice the tra face tracking is going to disappear. So now it's not tracking me anymore. And what that means, if I go out of the frame, the camera itself will reframe for me. So the camera should reframe it. And now that it's reframed it, the face tracking can now continue. So that's that one camera. So now how about the PTZ? So this is where the audio tracking or audio switching or audio triggers specifically in vMix comes into play. So let's get this all set up so you can see me and what's going on behind me. And let's switch to the vMix output now. Okay, so this is the vMix output. And the vMix currently is actually on these PTZ cameras. We're on these PTZ, whatever you want to call it, oh, on, these, um, on these microphones, these gooseneck microphones. So if I go to one, I don't know if it's already on. No, it's not on that input, so you see it switched that input. If I come over here, assuming I was sitting over here, and I switch and start talking, it will switch to me and focus on me now. It's over here. So wherever I go in the room, wherever I go in the room, I'm not only amplified, but the camera will automatically switch to wherever I happen to be. And you can notice there isn't any feedback, and I'm still being amplified. And this is all also going into whatever application. In this particular case, we are using uh, Microsoft Teams and we use the NDI virtual camera input for that particular use case. Now, you will also see, as I come over to where the camera is here, right here, you should see, as I turn this on now, the PTZ camera, the Aver NDI PTZ, will now switch to me as I start talking. Unless, oh, there we go, okay. Sometimes there's a little bit of a delay, so there we go. So now, I, this is my vMix output. This is what would go to the NDI virtual camera, and it's gonna follow me as I walk around the room. And the same thing, and like I said, when it loses my face, the, the tracking will stop. So now it doesn't see me. But now that I'm out of the frame, the camera itself will re reframe. And now the face tracking can continue. And there you go. So we have a fully automated setup. And like I said, if I go and turn this guy off, 
uh, just so I don't get any feedback. And testing one, two, three. There you go. Now it's switched, switched. It was already on that particular spot. So if it was a different one, testing one, two, three, the camera will automatically PTZ to that location. There may occasionally be a delay. So there you go. Using an audio interface, uh, 10 different microphone inputs on that audio interface. We're using a fairly basic amplifier with some ceiling speakers. We're doing this all over wired Ethernet. We do have Wi-Fi 6, but I feel wired, even wired Ethernet is still going to be even more reliable than Wi-Fi 6. We have several laser projectors and an Apple TV powering the two laser projectors and as well as the TV behind me. And we have a fully automated setup. So the output from vMix goes into the NDI virtual input and that is what will be sent out on Microsoft Teams. Now, likewise, we could have each camera be its own input into Teams on separate Teams logins. In this case, for most use cases, I believe we're just going to have the one output from vMix uh, feeding the video feed on a single Teams account uh, for the Teams meetings. But there you go. That's how you can completely automate a setup. You don't need anybody to touch. There's nobody at all. During this entire time I was doing this, I know you... You don't necessarily know that, but there literally was nobody sitting at my desk doing any of this. It completely runs all by its lonesome. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation and the power of NDI and even very easy to use pro products like vMix and OBS. And I'll be building some of my own applications uh, to automate some of these things as well. Look forward to hearing back with your comments. Thank you, and this is William Steele of Where's My Media. Goodbye.